get a lot of opportunities on a daily basis to kind of allow the Spirit to help us navigate the, our mind and the world that's projected from our mind. One time I was was asking the Holy Spirit of Jesus, I said, because I like to do maps. I always, even when I was in seventh grade, you know, I like to draw maps and color in countries and do all that. I'm very graphic. So I asked the Holy Spirit to give me a graphic representation, a map of the mind, so I could know what was going on. And the outer level was the level of perception. And then the emotions were right underneath it. And the thoughts were under the emotions. And then the beliefs were under the thoughts. And then the core, the bullseye, was desire. And I remember reading in the Course, Truth will be returned to your awareness by your desire, as it was lost to your awareness by your desire for something else. So desire is at the core of everything. That's like our point of prayer, our point of power. But those beliefs that we hold on to are right outside that ring of desire. And until we get down to the underlying beliefs, it just seems as if that the world is outside of us, that our identity is shaky at best, and that we need a lot of approval and being liked in order to feel good about ourselves. When actually we have to learn to have integrity really deep integrity before we can actually reach that point of peace. So for me, I had to start to see how far am I willing to go with this integrity? How far am I willing to go where I actually start to experience that there's nothing outside of me? Uh, I had to start questioning everything about the world. Um, for example, um, when, when I would get disturbed about politicians and, and various political stances or whatever, you know, I had Jesus inside saying, you know, you're not really involved in politics. Politics are in you. When I got upset about society, I said, I just am never going to be able to be peaceful as long as I'm living in this society. In this culture, I will never be peaceful. Jesus would say, you are not in the society. The society is in you. It was always pointing me back to everything that I perceive is based on belief. All the way to the point that he is saying that, that there is no world apart from what you think. That everything we think is out there in the world is actually in consciousness, and we're still holding it in consciousness. We're still holding on to the beliefs and the concepts, and then tricking ourselves to think that the world is doing it to us, instead of us having the power. Us having, we can control the direction of our thinking. We don't have to succumb to ego thinking, we can actually align with God and think with God instead of trying to think against God.